All right, so we just received a phone call about a cat. This cat is fighting for his life, apparently. We're gonna go now and have a look what it is. Stay tuned, guys. We've got a very busy day ahead of us. We have a lot of rescues, so stay tuned. This is where the police officers stay in our village. So we're gonna see what's wrong with this cat. Let's go. kitten now um, we're gonna take this little kitten back to the clinic and you know start treatment and see see what's actually wrong if it did fell down the stairs or if it's been attacked by another cat or a dog let's see we'll let you guys know stay tuned <laughs> So we've just given some antibiotics and a needle to stop the blood because there was a lot of blood when we found her. She was laying flat, lifeless. She was like, she had nothing going for her. Shishmishma. Shishmishma. So she fell. We just... Okay, just... Um, put a name on what's happened to her and she's, she, she fell from four stories down and she fell on the ground, there's a splatter of blood on the ground and she's walked a little bit across and she's just stopped dead. Okay, so the kitten is in safe hands. We are now going to our second complaint, and this is at the police station itself, right next to the police station building. There's a white cat that we tried to catch a long time ago, but we were unsuccessful. Uh, bottom of his neck is, is open, cut open. We're going there now. Hopefully we can find him. And um, it was very, very hard for us to catch him last time. We couldn't catch him. So now we're going back there and hopefully we get him and treat him. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, so that was uh, unsuccessful again. Um, we couldn't find that cat that's got its neck that's been cut open. Right now we're going to another dog, uh, a dog that's got cancer. Um, now, it's a very sad story, very sad situation. The owners don't have the financial support to actually look after this dog. The dog is old. The dog doesn't look like, you know, I'm not going to talk negative, but the dog doesn't seem like it's going to live long. Let's just say that. Um, but I haven't seen it yet. I've just seen pictures. So now I'm going to go. Um, I can actually show you guys. That's the dog. Terrible. Look at that. Okay. So, we're going to go get this dog now. Most likely, I have to send this dog to the city. Because I don't think there's anything I can do for it here in the village. Uh, we're more about first response to stitches. And, you know, just trying to keep the dog alive or the cat or the animal alive. Uh, when it's an emergency. But in a situation like this, it's most likely going to need chemotherapy or something. Um... We're gonna see. Let's go check it out now. situation um, I got the call for this dog a few days ago when it was standing so I kind of feel like uh, you know, it's my fault that we didn't go there on time um, but you know I've been busy I haven't been here you know we live in a village where there's no other option besides us um, the guy was devastated the guy was crying um, you can tell that he really loved this dog just wanted the dog to be put to sleep so he's out of his misery um, as you can see he was literally being eaten alive by maggots and worms and, and everything like by the flies bees he was he was getting mauled alive he wasn't giving up or dying he was getting mauled uh, he had a massive tumor on the side of his face um, anyway now he's gone, so we couldn't, we couldn't save him. There was nothing we could have done for him. Um, he's now sleeping, and uh, the owner is going to bury him in the backyard. And that's it. That's uh, I was not expecting that in the day, in the day, in, in our daily's, um, in our day's rescue. That is not a rescue, guys. That is a uh, um, something that. Seen in my town, but you know it's it's there, it's happening, and um, it is what it is. So we're gonna go to the next complaint now, and I'm sure you guys, most of you guys know this dog, and his name his name is El Chapo. Uh, the reason why his name is El Chapo is because he has escaped uh, treatment many many times, jumped over fences, disappeared. He's done some crazy things. That's why he's got the old Chapo status. We're gonna go check him out now. And uh, apparently he's in terrible condition. His eyes are all sharp. He's not walking properly. Old, he's probably uh, Alicia positive. So he's probably got a 
bad infection in the blood. Um, we're gonna go. I just wanted to get some air. I just wanted to, you know, breathe a little bit after what happened. It wasn't something I was expecting. Um, something that's gonna haunt me, that's for sure. Okay, let's go, and hopefully we we'll change the environment and scenery a little bit. All right. So El Chapo is here, he's not going nowhere. We're gonna grab him, we're gonna take him to the clinic and we're gonna treat him. We're gonna take some blood. He's not going nowhere. I'm waiting for Bert to come, our vet, and we'll see us treating him very soon. So it looks like he's in a very, very bad state. Uh, it looks like there's an infection in his blood, but we're not sure yet, so stay tuned, all right? came here like 15 20 minutes ago I waited for Beck we just came here now El Chapo is just laying there dead just just like that um, he's about 15 years old he's got one hell of a story he's got so many videos of El Chapo so many so many times we've rescued him um, it's sad yes because it's uh, yeah, his story has now uh, come to an end. I believe we've done what we can for him. It's been a very terrible day, guys. Uh, so the only hope we've got today is the little kitten that we picked up. Other than that, it's just been a very dark day for us. A very, very dark day. And I'm just hoping that uh, you know, we have a better day tomorrow. 